Hello VC, I hope you are fine and well and of course healthy. Uh, my last mixed cloud session was all about music from Istanbul and so I thought before I put the records away I will share them with you. Um, let's start with uh, this artist. This album is called Su, uh, recorded by Merchan Dede. Now, Merchan Dede is a very interesting character in the Istanbul music scene. I think to some extent he kind of stands apart and is an institution of his own. Um, what he does is combining uh, rather traditional dervish dances and melodies, so rather old religious uh, chants and, and, and melodies with rather modern ingredients like ambient, but also hip-hop, trip-hop, certainly a slightly corny touch of new age music maybe. But overall I would regard this uh, kind of a fourth world album to some extent. Uh, so this is pretty interesting, uh, kind of a spheric music obviously, but um, at the same time um, not entirely dedicated to a particular direction or style, so it's quite eclectic in some moments. So uh, if you have a yen for uh, Middle Eastern harmonies and uh, combined with the rather electronic music, uh, this might be the perfect album for you. So this is Merchandede and the album is called Su. So very different is the next band called Ayuka. This is their album Kirach Odalar, which came out 2014. And this is a damn cool uh, Anatolian surf rock. Um, this band is really rocking. So if you like more Anatolian rock music with uh, more rougher edges, um, then this might be the right album for you. Um, even going deeper into the rabbit hole, this is Bunalim. Now Bunalim is a band, a short-lived band that existed at the beginning of the 70s. Um, so this is a great example of sort of a proto-Anatolian psych rock, uh, very fuzzy, uh, very raw. Uh, so this is uh, quite a unique record uh, that gives you a glimpse of uh, the early uh, Turkish rock scene at the beginning of the 70s. This is a re-release that came out on Faraway Sound with a nice center label here, as you can see. Um, so uh, you have a little bit of liner notes here to kind of understand how this all came about. Now the album came out not that long ago and uh, in a sense it's uh, kind of a compilation curated compilation uh, that uh, covers uh, music that has been recorded between 1970 and 1972 and um, back in the day probably mostly has been released in a form of seven inches and uh, here kind of for the first time uh, united into one album I'll give you some some visual context here so uh, that's Bunalim. On a different note, I've been through Instagram a little bit in contact with uh, Murat Ertel, the guy who's running Babazula, and he told me that um, he was, uh, as a small kid, when he was like 10 or 11, he was living in the same street where Bunalim uh, was rehearsing. So he told me he remembers always running under the window to the basement apartment where they've been rehearsing and making the noise. So that's a nice little anecdote. Um, now again something completely different. In a previous video I've already shown you an album by Gaia Suakiol. Now this is here her second album which is called Hologram Imperatorlu and uh, which uh, translated means something like the Empire of Holograms, which is a damn good title for an album, I think. Um, so this is our second album, and uh, again, it's fantastic from beginning to the end. 
Compared with her third album, I would say it's um, maybe slightly deeper rooted in traditional melodies, but at the same time still there is this strong touch of surf rock thrown into the mix, uh, psychedelic music, um, so it's again very very eclectic and it's a quite a beautiful mix. I mean she's a great singer, she's an amazing vocalist and a wonderful songwriter. Um, she wrote most of the songs here, if not all of them. Um, as you can see this album comes with a really giant poster. Um, I don't even dare to unpack it, but it's also with all the lyrics uh, even translated in multiple languages, so this is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, this came out on Glitterbeat, which is a German label. So I can really recommend this album. This is some amazing Turkish space rock. Um, one of the greatest contemporary artists in Istanbul right now. Gaye Suakyol, Hologram Imperatorlu. And yeah, I know my Turkish pronunciation is totally shit, but uh, what can you do? It's a new world out there. <laughs> beautiful album, really beautiful album. The next album again a very different sound. This is Divan by Orient Expressions and this was a short-lived band that existed somewhere around 2004 and up until 2010 maybe. Uh, this came out 2004 again on Double Moon Records. This is a double album. Now uh, the band consists of DJ Yakuza, uh, Richard Hamer who is basically a sax player and Jem Yildiz, who is sort of a sound chasing uh, experimental music tinkerer of sorts. So this was a very sort of a eclectic, idiosyncratic band. Uh, but uh, they had created this very atmospheric uh, Istanbul-oriented music uh, that was very electronic, very much in the vein of uh, new jazz and uh, quite fascinating. So. Uh, Beautiful music to listen to when you are driving by night. Um, very atmospheric and rather cool. And uh, yeah, Divan by Orient Expressions. Um, I re remember uh, in a previous video that I've already shown you this album here. This was this is Karriere by Derya Yildirim and the group Shimshek. Uh, pretty good album. I've listened to it quite a lot in the last two months. Um, but what I probably have not shown you is uh, Nem Kalde, which came before that and is a EP. So this was basically their debut here. Um, and uh, there, are, there are four tracks on this short record. Uh, so each side is like 15 minutes, I think. So an EP. And uh, yeah, again, very wonderful uh, album. Uh, it's a bit of a mixture between uh, sort of Turkish folk rock and uh, well, with a strong sort of 60s vibe to it with great sort of Hammond organ playing. This is a very moody and very seductive music. Uh, uh, obviously uh, Dere Yildirim is the leader. She's playing a sas. Uh, so this is this kind of a Turkish guitar and she's singing. And yeah, this is a band that is quite similar to Alten Gün to some extent, uh, I'm pretty sure they know each other um, since they're kind of plowing the same field. Um, I would say the big difference between between uh, Derya Yildirim and Alten Gün is that Alten Gün has this sort of a funk disco twang to it while this band is more uh, slightly calmer in the realm of uh, sort of folk rock, uh, sort of Turkish folk rock. Um, but still with a strong sort of psychedelic uh, psychedelic uh, feel to it. Yeah, so this is uh, Nim Kalde. Now this came out on Bongo Joe. Uh, I've shown a lot of records from Bongo Joe lately and these days this is uh, easily one of my favorite labels. Uh, I quite love the stuff they're releasing. This is a label from Switzerland, from Geneva and pretty cool. Also a record store in Geneva. Now this one uh, is uh, quite an interesting thing. Uh, this is called Crossing the Bridge Istanbul Hatirasi, The Sound of Istanbul. This is a 
compilation and a soundtrack and a experiment of sorts all in one double album. Um, now there is a story behind this because uh, um, this came out as a the official soundtrack, by the way, released on Double Moon again. Um, but I, th I think there is another pressing also that came out in Germany. Mm. Um, however, so somewhere around 2002 or 2003, um, the famous German-Turkish uh, movie director Fatih Akin decided to make this documentary. A documentary about music in uh, Istanbul. And uh, this... Uh, in hindsight, this has stirred a certain unrest in the in the Istanbul art scene because uh, a lot of uh, local filmmakers were quite upset that he kind of came, uh, did his thing, and created this wonderful documentary. And uh, I think a lot of uh, a lot of producers in the Tur in the Turkey were quite upset that that none of the local filmmakers came up with that idea. But hey, that's how it goes. So, um, it's an interesting story. So they went to Istanbul. So if you know the German experimental and industrial band Einstürzende Neubauten, then maybe you know Alex Hake. Now Alex Hake is the bass player of the Einstürzende Neubauten. And uh, it would seem a buddy of uh, Fatih Akin. So what they did is Alex Hake became kind of the protagonist of the documentary. So they packed all kind of equipment, cables, portable recording studio, cameras, microphones, all kind of stuff. And they moved for, I think, like a month or two, they moved to Istanbul. I think it was at least two months. And uh, they occupied a suite in the traditional Hotel Londre, uh, which is a rather famous, uh, slightly old-fashioned uh, hotel in Istanbul and uh, they set up shop there so they set up all the recording equipment or the or more like the the editing equipment and uh, what they did is they just uh, went from uh, encounter to encounter and uh, kind of filmed people making music sometimes visited them in the studio or uh, while rehearsing and um, yeah, and they recorded a lot of stuff. So uh, when in the evening, to kind of follow the narrative of the documentary, in the evening, Alex Hake went to his hotel room, you know, lit up a cigarette and started started uh, working on his notebook or his laptop and started to edit and cut the recordings. And uh, so that's how kind of the soundtrack came about. Now, it's not entirely um, just... Um, field recording music. Uh, some of it are original tracks from uh, studio, original studio tracks, um, licensed from the band in question. Uh, but uh, I think more than half of this double album is uh, quite unique and happens to exist only on this record. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of quite interesting stuff here. Um, so uh, it's quite a wonderful, wonderful record to have. Um, for example, there's a pretty cool song by Orhan Gencebay, who is a very famous Turkish uh, musician, singer and, and actor, particularly from the 70s, and uh, who, who actually never really uh, let anybody record himself uh, playing something live in the studio before so this was like for the first time that they talk him, talked him into it so you can you see him you see him playing live uh, in the documentary with his band and uh, and the song that he's playing is also on the album here so there are a lot of kind of a unique little gems here um the album has one disadvantage, um, but that's not a big one. Um, the order of the tracks here is completely wrong, but completely wrong. And uh, you can look it up on Discogs and then there is an explanation how the correct order should be. But it's still a bit wrong, so it, it kind of took me 20 minutes uh, to figure it all out and to create a correct... Uh, 
track list uh, for this album. So if you if you ever should get this record, uh, do not hesitate to contact me and I will send you the correct order of tracks <laughs> to this. So uh, that's uh, Crossing the Bridge, Istanbul Hattirasi, basically a original soundtrack to a documentary by Fatih Akin, documentary called Crossing the Bridge, which is a great documentary. Um, if you can find it somewhere, uh, give it a try. It's a beautiful introduction into the world of Turkish uh, music, into the world of contemporary music in Istanbul. And uh, it's a documentary that is heavily um, featuring one of my favorite Turkish bands, which of course would be Babazula, a band from Istanbul. It's At this point, this is THE band from Istanbul. Today they are like this symbol of uh, the music scene in Istanbul. Um, this is uh, an album that came two years ago, a double album called XX, as you can read here. Um, this is an interesting record uh, because uh, it's it's a, in parts it's a live album, in parts it's a remix album. So to a certain extent it's a compilation, but then again not. This too came out on Glitterbeat, the German label. Now uh, they're putting out some wonderful records. Uh, so um, this is uh, in a gatefold sleeve. So this record is basically um, putting emphasis on the collaboration of Babazula with other artists. So that's where all the remixes are coming from. But you have a lot of live recordings with all kind of interesting people. Since Babazula is heavily into dub music and a lot of the recordings are basically dub. Um, they have some tracks here played together with Sly and Robbie, for example. Um, the before mentioned Alex Hake is playing bass on one track here. Um, so this is uh, quite an exciting double album. In parts uh, the live recordings can kind of capture the atmosphere of Babazula live. Uh, but a lot of these remixes are quite interesting and uh, just show you the potential of the music. So um, that's a great one. Double X by Babazula. And uh, this leads me to my last uh, album here, and this is Derin Derin. This came out a little more than a year ago. This is their latest studio album. And uh, to some degree, probably their best. They are keeping up the this interesting mixture of dub music and uh, Anatolian psychedelic rock. So it's quite groovy and again very riff oriented. And um, in parts, it's kind of reaching out into different, uh, you know, different areas. Uh, there are almost uh, sort of a dark, ambient moments, particularly on the B side, and even, even stretching uh, their feelers towards sounds like industrial or sort of heavy electronica music. But it's kind of great about this album because you get what you expect from a Babazula record. But at the same time, they wonderfully manage to keep a certain spirit of unpredictability and that's rather cool about Babazula. So this is Derin Derin by Babazula. Um, again, released on Glitterbeat. Uh, here, gatefold sleeve picture. So, uh, how cool is that? So. Uh, Again, this is one of my favorite bands from the Turkey and uh, it's a pretty well-known act. And if you are into dub music or if you are into Anatolian uh, psychedelic rock, um, you should give this a try. You may like it. This was Babazula. Well, and before I uh, finish this video, just a little something more. I have discovered a band at the Bongo Joe label which is called Lalalar, which is a Turkish band. I mean, they, at this point in time, there seem to be only two seven inches released by them. Um, this is one of them. Uh, this is the other. And uh, so, basically, I know only these four songs by the band. They're called Lalalar. Um, I will not read the track titles because they're in Turkish and pretty complicated but uh, this is a pretty cool sound 
I must tell you. Um, they are a psych rock band, but they have this almost almost new wave uh, type of sound. In parts it's very dark. The singer is excellent, a great singer. Um, I don't know anything about this band, but I just discovered these two 7 inches, so uh, I just ordered them from Bongo Joe. And uh, when I played these two 7 inches, I thought like, wow, this is quite incredible. So, um, I don't know, you can look it up on, uh, on Bandcamp probably. Again, the name of the band is La La La, and you can tell me what you think. So this is something I've discovered lately. This is quite an amazing band, uh, which uh, was completely new to me. And uh, hopefully there will be a whole album with their music, ideally on, ideally on Bongo Joe. So that was my little excursion into the world of music in the city of Istanbul. And uh, I hope you thought this is somewhat interesting and worth your time. And uh, stay safe and see you next time. Bye-bye.